Hey guys, Dark Prometheus here. We have came off a horrible loss in the conference, actually in the division match. So this is going to be the awards, uh, things of that nature with some team stats, things like that. But, as I went one more too far, we will look at... The awards first. So weekly awards. That last week. Really just nothing. But yearly awards. Here we go. So MVP. Russell Wilson. The Seahawks went 12-4. and four. We had Jay Cutler. Down here at 7th. Coach of the year. It's going to be Griffin Murray. Uh, John Fox. 12-4. and four On that second year. So that's great. But we're going to start in the AFC. Offensive player of the year, Tom Brady. Defensive player, Rob Nikovich. Now, actually, an offensive and defensive player from the Patriots. Wow, they did, do, did go 14-2. Uh, Connor Cook will be the offensive rookie of the year. I believe he's a quarterback, so it looks like Carr got hurt a little bit. There's Will Fuller. Heckenberg started a little bit. There's Braxton Miller. So, Corey Coleman there. Paxton Lynch. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Joey Bosa. And, uh, Camille Correa. Sean Davis. Jordan Jenkins. Uh, Miles Jack. Xavier Howard. Did some work. So, Shaq Lawson. Reggie Ragland. Cyrus Jones. Jim Morrison. So some names that you'd really see out there, but Joey Bosa, wow. Best QB, Andy Dalton beats Tom Brady, the Offensive Player of the Year. Uh, running back, Matt Forte, coming from Chicago over to uh, New York to play for the Jets. Best running back in the AFC. Demarius Thomas, best receiver. O-line, Marshall Yonda. And defensive line, J.J. Watt. Always class act doing work. Linebacker, so defensive player of the year and best linebacker to me, Rob Nikovich. Best DV, Darnell Revis, establishing himself as still the best, one of the best in the league. Nick Novak, best kicker. And now we're going to go over the NFC. Russell Wilson, the offensive player of the year. Uh, we didn't really, well, Cutler's down here at nine, but no big deal. Defensive Player of the Year, Cameron Jordan gets that. Do we have anything? No honorable mentions at all here. Offensive Player, or Offensive Rookie of the Year, Ezekiel Elliott did some work. Did a lot of work. There's Sterling Shepard at two touchdowns against us. Jordan Howard's down there. Dak Prescott played a little bit. Docks and a touchdown on us. Carson Wentz, we blitzed him a lot in our game. It just looks like the rest of the league did the same. Defensive Rookie of the Year is going to be Vernon Hargraves, the third. He had two, one interception against me. Um, Alshon Robinson, DeForest Buckner, Mackenzie Alexander had an interception against me. Here's Leonard Floyd. He had about seven or eight sacks in the season. We'll look at that. Eli Apple, Neil, Robert, Robert Nemenshiki. I think ah, I'm just mispronouncing that horribly. But best QB, Jay Cutler wins that over Russell Wilson. Wow. Even despite missing four games this season. Ezekiel Elliott over here, best running back. Best receiver, Kevin White doing some work. He had some good touchdowns and everything. Alshon was hurt for uh, four or five weeks out of the year, maybe even six. Uh, Kevin White missed the last three to four games of the season. Best O-line, of course, going to be the Cowboys. With, um, it just so happens to be Tyron Smith. We got Zach Martin, Travis Frederick. Just top three are Cowboys. That just sums it up. Best D-lineman, Robert Quinn over in L.A. We have no honorable mentions there. Best linebacker, Thomas Davis, there's Ogletree, uh, Jordan Hicks, 
where he didn't even come close here. We had a lot of injuries at linebacker this year. Best DB, Brent Grimes. There's DRC, Vernon Hargraves. So the Bucks, despite going six and ten, have, have their quarterback of the future, and Brent Grimes actually showed up this year. Here's the Lions: Tavon Wilson, Darius Slay, and Quandre Diggs. All over here at five, six, and seven. That's big there. Uh, best kicker, Robbie Gold. He only missed two or three kicks. That's going to be it for there. Now, I don't think we can look at the... The uh, Pro Bowl yet. And so that'll be something that we look at probably at the end of the... Uh, at the start of the next season. The preseason. Not preseason, but the uh, scouting. For the draft and everything. So, our season stats for the Bears itself. Cuddler, uh, just shy of 5,000 yards. Threw uh, 490 times. Uh, 42 touchdowns, 19 interceptions, 66 completion percentage. A pretty good rating most of the time. Uh, 112. Uh, took 37 sacks. Played in 16 games. Cutler exited two games, and Hoyer took over there. 29 attempts, 16 completions, one touchdown, three interceptions. We just couldn't move the ball downfield. We could nickel and dime it through. We just couldn't get any sustained drives. Now, we do have David Fales on here and Sean Mannion, so we'll see what the future holds there. And Hoyer also took four sacks on... 29 dropbacks, like, that's too much. Over at Rushes. So, we had a lot of injuries at running back. Langford went out for seven weeks. We got 490 yards. So we relied on Jacques Rogers. Jacques Rogers couldn't really get it done for the first three or four games. Had a couple of good games in there. And then fell off again. Jordan Howard was good in short downs, short yardage situations, most of all with these seven touchdowns. But we definitely need to give him the ball more, it looks like. Jockers Rogers also had two fumbles, which kind of killed us, because both those were in the same game. We ended up losing that game. Longest run, 67 yards, untouched. Just not having Langford... He only played in nine games. Really hurt. Otherwise, he might have had about 1,200 yards. Receiving. We had another batch of injuries at receiver that was bad. Kevin White and Alshon Jeffrey did not finish the season starting. Kevin White went out week 13. Alshon Jeffrey went out week 14. So we played those last two or three games. We lost two out of the three we played in week uh, 15, 16, and 17. And we went in the playoffs with just not having an answer for our receiver core. Kevin White still 59 catches, 1,200 yards, uh, 13 touchdowns. Alshon, 55 receptions, 952 yards, 5 touchdowns. Eddie Royal, still respectable, 51 catches, 766 yards, 6 touchdowns. Zach Miller doing decent, 38 catches. Zach Miller also went down a lot as well. So Moyaki had to step in, 37 receptions, 349 yards, 5 touchdowns. And awesome screens, we had some good. Marquise Wilson didn't have a lot of a lot of anything, but the last two games, 14 catches for 219 yards and 4 touchdowns. That's good. We'll be looking to keep him on the roster. Josh Bellamy did all right, but... Just, we just could not get open on those last games. Blocking. Charles Leno Jr. gave up 10 sacks. And Massey just is not fast enough on that outside and that right tackle. The long white hair Grisau, they're growing. White has a rookie. He has a rookie this year. Long's going in his fourth season. 
and Grisau is going in his second season. So I could definitely see that. We had to play Wallace a little bit because Leno just could not hold it down in the left tackle position. So we might get some competition out there. I mean, he did all right, but we are definitely going to look at some competition. We will not be holding on probably Larson or Chandler, and we may hold on to uh, Wallace as some depth. On defense, Amos finished the year our leading tackler by one. Jones Cordy came out uh, in that playoff game, which didn't help, and Bush came in. But Amos, uh, 116 tackles, seven for loss, two sacks, one interception. Pretty uh, decent there. Some deflections. No forced fumbles, even though he's a big hitter. Had one fumble recovery. Uh, Jones Cordy. One sack, one interception, and he didn't, he, he's fast though, deceptively fast, he's able to come in, scoop up uh, the ball, and has a knack for picking up those fumbles. Freeman was the next one, still, a couple injuries here and there. Our safeties, for the most part, in our secondary stayed healthy, but our middle linebacker position, we could not stay healthy at. 90 tackles, probably would have been our leading tackler if we would have went. Uh, all four, uh, all four of those games that he was out. Four and a half sacks. Fuller, uh, eighty tackles, two interceptions. That's just not enough from our our number one or our number two corner. Uh, forced fumbles though. That's Darrell Freeman forcing two, but she would have had a better impact if he would have played some of those games too. Callahan played pretty good in the nickel and dime packages. Two interceptions. One deflection. He's pretty much in that slot a lot, guarding guys like Randall Cobb uh, twice a year. Leonard Floyd, eight and a half sacks, came in, started slow, but started picking it up as the year went on. It's something uh, big there. At 27 solo tackles, 10 for loss. Then you have Pernell McPhee coming in at seven and a half, 17 tackles for loss. These guys, though, you have Leonard Floyd, three forced fumbles, picked up two fumble recoveries. Carl McPhee forced one, had one touchdown. That was our only sole defensive touchdown there. Tracy Porter, two picks. That's not enough for, an out, uh, for one of our number one corners. Christian Jones. Had to come in and play more of a journeyman, playing all over the, the linebacker course. Finished with 60 tackles, one interception. Trevathan, though, he went out twice this year for long periods of time. It's only 49 tackles. That's something we got to fix. He did have four sacks, though. Some blitzes. He has a knack to get into the quarterback. We just need to get him healthy. Mitch Unruh, seven and a half sacks. Um. A lot of those were off broken plays like screens, things like that. And Hicks, five sacks. Uh, DeAndre Hall came in as a year came down and played in a lot of packages that were in a dime. So he was our fourth corner. And he located the ball a decent amount. Didn't have a lot of snaps. Still came up with two picks. One forced fumble, one fumble recovery. He only played in 287 snaps. So, we'll definitely be looking at him. He may, as time goes on, take on the mantle there at for Tracy Porter. We had Lamar Houston out here, three sacks. Eddie Goldman had one, even though he started a lot of games. Just anchoring that center. Helped forcing the rushers outside. Willie Young won. Ego Ferguson had one and a half. The uh, rookie year fifth round pick. At two sacks. We might look at putting Bullard more on the uh, line instead of under as time goes on. So kicking, Robbie Gold only missed four field goals. Had a 62-yarder. Uh, had two field goals blocked, though. So he missed two, had two blocked. Uh, extra point. Made all the extra points. Yeah, it was just a pretty decent year for Robbie Gold. Punting-wise, 
For some reason, we don't have punch stats. All right, very well. Kick return. Deontay Thompson took most of the kick returns. As the year went on, we cycled through Carey and Rogers. As, uh, we didn't use really Eddie Royal here on kick returns. But we also didn't get much of anything. It's a good average wise, but we're not getting. We're not starting anywhere near like our 40 or, f or even 50 for short fields. On punt returns, though, Eddie Royal will most likely be the guy who's taking up back punts uh, for next year, depending on his regression. So we'll definitely take a look at that. Now let's see the NFL leaders. If you go through yards, it's going to be Jay Cutler by almost 300 yards. Uh, touchdowns, also Jay Cutler, Andy Dalton's next there. Interceptions, Carson Wentz is number one, and Cutler is number two. Phillip Rivers at 19 as well. Uh, best rating. Some guys that did a decent amount. Andy Dalton here, uh, 113. Best completion percentage, probably Andy Dalton as, as well. Yeah, 72%. Doing a lot of work there. Most sacked will be Jameis Winston, 62 sacks. Eli Manning took 62 too. Wow, it's a lot of sacks there. Rushing, Matt Forte. He didn't have the most attempts. He was fourth in the league there. He is going to finish with the most yards. Carlos High behind here. Uh, Zeke is at 1,200 yards. I think Zeke has the most touchdowns. He does at 19. They're going to blunt and David Johnson. Fumbles, though. Carlos Williams Sr., three, 300 touches, 1,000 yards, fumbled it eight times. That That's bad there. The longest run of the season was a 75-yarder. Wait, Carson Wentz took one as and uh, Carlos Williams. Forte outside a 70 yarder. Receiving most receptions of the season, Randall Cobb has 100 on the dot. Most yards will be Demarius Thomas off 89 catches. AJ Green, Antonio Brown, Michael Crabtree. We're down most of the ways just because well, Kevin White's got 1,200 there. But he would have been way up more towards Demarius Thomas. He would have played the entire year. Touchdown 17 for Demarius Thomas. There's uh, Kevin White's got 13. Uh, Odell Beckham's down here. Who had the longest? Longest was Kendall Wright with a 95 yarder, Crabtree at 93, and Victor Cruz at a 93 as well. So, giving up sacks. Taylor Decker gave up 31. Donovan Smith, Anthony Costanzo, kind of falling off. Ronnie Staley, the rookie, gave up 23 sacks. Flacco looks like he was under pressure all day long. He's back behind there, but after that, I mean, you're looking at some guys that you don't think you would give up that many sacks as you're going through. But Staley, that's that's something I was shocked about. Now, C.J. Mosley, most tackles in the league. Sacks will be Robert Quinn. Now holds the record, beating Michael Strahan. Uh, he has 26 and a half sacks. J.J. Watt was close to beating Strahan, but only got 23 and a half. So you see, that's that's probably why Robert Quinn is the Defensive Player of the Year over on the NFC, and J.J. Watt is the AFC. Cameron Jordan was pretty close. But still, interceptions. Thomas Davis was 7. Brent Grimes was 7, too, in a 5-10 corner. Brevis 6. DRC was 6. Hargraves came up with 5. No a lot of stuff there. Force fumbles. The biggest hitter forcing in fumbles is Malik Jackson. Matt Elam, Malcolm Smith, Ladarius Webb. Dak find the football on the ground, Ladarius Webb there. Block kicks. We had a whole bunch of players at one. Safeties. We had a whole bunch of guys at one. Defensive touchdowns. A 
whole bunch of defensive touchdowns in the league. Quickly go through kicking. Who has the best field goal percentage? Nick Novak at a 93. Longest kick of the year was Robbie Gold's 62 yarder. That's pretty crazy there. Punting. Best average here was Pat McAfee at 44.7 yards. Kick return. Touchdowns, we have numerous of them. There's Mike Wallace and Steve Smith. Have some. The longest of the year was we got three 101s. The 100 yarder by Landry. On punt returns, a decent amount of punt returns for a touchdown. What's the longest one? Was Eddie Royal's 70 or 87 yarder. Anthony Thomas had one that was 80. So that's going to be it for the season stats. We're going to take a look, a look at a couple other things with team stats. We really need to look at. So, offensively, the best offense were the Seahawks. We're, we're in the top 10 at least. Our passing offense is the best in the league. Our rushing offense was the worst in the league. For points, we were second, at least. So that's something. On defense, we're top 10 in the league, so we're within the top 10. On passes, we probably gave up. Yeah, we're just about at 10. For rushes, we gotta be in the top ten on this one too. Yeah, we are. Now sacks. We're at fifty-four. We got a lot of sacks. Fumbles, not many. Forced. We only had ten fumbles. We only had eleven picks. That's about midway. I believe we had an issue converting on, on third down. Yes, we did. 46 percentage. That's something that needs to be fixed. Red zone efficiency. We had 48 attempts, which is probably about middle of the pack. Actually, no. That's the fourth worst in the league. Touchdowns in the red zone, one of the worst. Literally a half, we just, we get to 81%. Thing is, most of the time we're kicking field goals. Defensive trips, we're about midway through. Giving up touchdowns. No, we should be one of the better ones in the league with this. We were. We gave up 30 touchdowns on defense. 19 field goals allowed. It's 89 percentage. It's the best in the league in red zone defense. Penalties, we had 26. Not a lot of penalties. And lastly, turnover. So differential, we are last in the league. We gave 37 giveaways to the other team. Five more than the Eagles. Mostly, we threw 22 interceptions. We lost 13 fumbles. Not the worst in the league on interceptions, but second to last. Takeaways. That's the thing. We only had 21 takeaways overall. Interceptions. We had 11 and forced fumbles that we or fumble recovers was 10. So we're pretty balanced, but look at some of these other teams. There's a reason why we didn't get past the first uh, divisional round in the playoffs. 
I think the Chiefs are up there. I look, Packers don't make the playoffs. Steelers don't. Chiefs make the playoffs, 18 turnovers. Giants make the playoffs, 18. Well, I guess there was a lot of teams. There's Patriots at 10. Seahawks at 6. So I guess the biggest thing was they have a lot of takeaways. What is Chiefs 42. Oh, there's not a lot of really a lot of takeaways just that's kind of weird as well so that's gonna be it for the stats there do I actually gotta hire someone in staff So I have everyone on contract so I can go over to the Pro Bowl. I believe I do. No, I need a trainer. So I'll throw down a... Uh, a whole staff. I can't do it anymore? Oh, I already put a contract out, probably. That's what it is. So go to next week and we'll look at... Oh, Alshon is able to play again. That's cool. So Pro Bowl, and that'll be it. Who made the Pro Bowl? There's Jay Cutler, makes it. Tom Brady's Breeze, Forte... We have no running backs. No full backs. Out of receiver, Kevin White makes it, but he's not going to be playing because he's injured. Tight end, we don't have any. Left tackle, we don't have anything. Left guard, nothing. Sitting is still on the Packers, actually. Center, nothing. Right guard, Kyle Long misses his first Pro Bowl. Uh, Bobby Massey does make it. An end, no one. A left end, at least. A right end, no one. Defensive tackle, no one. Left linebacker, it's no one. Middle linebacker, don't have anyone as well. Right linebacker, no. Corner, no one. Free safety, no one. Strong safety, no one. Kicker. Not even Robbie Gold makes as a kicker. Punter, no one. Kick returner. We have one. We have two pro bowlers. Our right tackle, Bobby Massey. And actually three, because Kevin White's there. And then Jay Cutler. Wow, so Kyle Long is snuffed out of the pro bowl. Let's actually finish a little preview of some, some guys that have moved on into retirement. Just to give you guys a, oh, I gotta go on the right side. Some retirements. So Jeff Fisher is the only retirement early in the season. I knew there were, wasn't going to be a lot. So he is the only one to retire. So thank you all for joining me. I will have an announcement come out for the offseason. Well, I'll do a scouting. We'll look at our, our draft board. We'll see what's out there in a scouting video with that. So I will see you guys next time. Later.